example in this example so here uh, this is the predicate formula and bound variable can be denoted by b free variable can be denoted by f scope of the quantifier can be denoted by s so here first one for all x p of x comma y okay here x and y are called as a subject or are variables so p is called as a predicate this predicate belongs to only two subjects or are two variables that is a x and y okay here for the variable x it is bounded with the universal quantifier that is for all x but y is not bounded with any uh, quantifier either a universal quantifier or a existential quantifier here x is called as bounded variable y is called as free variable here the bounded variable is x free variable is y okay scope of the quantifier means here the quantifier is universal quantifier the predicate formula immediately followed by the universal quantifier okay after the universal quantifier what is the predicate formula is the p of x comma y now p of x comma y can be treated as the scope of the quantifier universal quantifier that is a p of x comma y okay so for this uh, for this statement okay bounded variable is x free variable is y scope of the quantifier is p of x comma y okay now go for second one for all x p of x conditional q of x here uh, p is the predicate that belongs to the variable x q is the predicate that belongs to the variable x okay so this entire formula is associated with the universal quantifier okay so now what is the variable is occurred in the given formula that is variable x so the variable x is bounded with the universal quantifier that is for all x okay so therefore we can say that bounded variable is x any free variable is there there is no free variable because only the variable x is there that variable x is bounded with the universal quantifier so there is no free variable next what is the scope of the quantifier after the universal quantifier whatever the predicate formula is there that predicate formula can be treated as the scope of the quantifier here universal quantifier so scope of the quantifier is p of x conditional q of x okay now we can go for third example okay for all x p of x conditional there exists y r of x comma y okay here the predicate is p it belongs to the only one subject that is x okay here the predicate is r that belongs to the two variables that is x and y okay now the variable x is bounded by the uh, universal quantifier for all x and for all x here x is there here x is there okay for the variable x it is bounded with the universal quantifier for all x okay here the variable y is bounded with the their existential quantifier existential quantifier okay so here the bounded variables are x and y here x is bounded with the universal quantifier and y is bounded with the existential quantifier so the bounded variables are x and y so any free variable is there there is no free variable because x is bounded with the for all x y is bounded with the there exist y so that there is no free variable okay there is no free variable next what is the scope of the quantifier okay so consider the for all x for all x the scope of the quantifier is the predicate formula immediately followed by the universal quantifier here there are uh, uh, two scopes okay for all x scope is okay p of x conditional there exist y 
R of x comma y. Okay, so this is parallax scope. Next, there exists y scope. That is the existential quantifier. So after the existential quantifier, whatever the expression is there, uh, that expression can be treated as the scope of the existential quantifier. That is R of x comma y. Okay, scope of the universal quantifier is P of x conditional. There exists y R of x comma y. Scope of the existential quantifier is R of x comma y. Okay. Here there is no field free variable. Next. Now consider this example. For all x, p of x and q of x for a r, for all y, r of y. So here the predicate is p. So that belongs to only one subject that is x. Here the predicate is q that belongs to only one subject that is x. So here the variable x is bounded with the for all x. So x is the bounded variable. Next one. Here uh, r is the predicate that belongs to only one variable that is bounded with the for all, for all y. So that y is a bounded variable. Okay. So x is bounded with the for all and y is bounded with the uh, for all y. So, x is bounded with the universal quantifier, y is bounded with the universal quantifier. So, x and y are called as a bounded variable. There is no free variable in this case. Then, uh, what is the scope of the universal quantifier? So, universal quantifier scope is uh, the formula immediately followed by the universal quantifier is the scope of the quantifier. P of x and Q of x. Okay. What is the scope of the for all y? For all y. So it is only R of y. So the expression that immediately followed by the universal quantifier for all y. So scope of that this quantifier is R of y. Scope of this quantifier is P of x and Q of x. Next one. Uh, consider next example. There exists x, P of x and Q of x. Here P is the predicate that belongs to only one subject. Here Q is the predicate that belongs to only one subject. Here uh, X is the uh, variable that is bounded with the existential quantifier. So that bounded variable is X. There is no free variable because only one variable is there that is bounded by the existential quantifier. Then scope of the existential quantifier is the predicate formula immediately followed by the existential quantifier that is a P of x and Q of x. P of x and Q of x is the scope of the existential quantifier. Next one, uh, there exists x, P of x and Q of x. Here P is the predicate that belongs to only one subject that is x. It is bounded only with the existential quantifier. Here Q is the predicate uh, that belongs to only one subject or one variable that is X. But here this X is different and this X is different. Okay. So this is the first X. It is bounded with only existential quantifier. But the second X is, uh, is not bounded with any quantifier. So that is a... Uh, First x is the bounded variable. First x is the bounded variable. Uh, pre variable is second x. Second x is not bounded with any quantifier. Okay. Scope of the quantifier is the expression that immediately followed by the existential quantifier is uh, scope of the quantifier P of x and Q of x. Okay. So in this way, we have to find out the whether the uh, variable is bounded or not and what is the scope of the quantifier that can be explained with the six examples i hope all of you understanding this concept so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so the velas reedivasarao